Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel. In this week continuation of race assessment end-to-end framework parallel video series. In the last video, we created a POJO class and we created a payload using this POJO class, which you can see here. So I created a new method inside the payloads class and where I am creating a new request using the ALN POJO class and here I am passing some random data generator values. Suppose if you don't pass these values for ID or name or for any other field here, then it will take the default values provided by the java means for the default value for the integer it will be zero for a string it will be null for boolean it will be false so if you don't pass those fields it will take the suppose if you don't pass the id then the id value will be zero similarly if you don't pass the value of name then the default value of name will be null in the json request payload i don't want that i want my custom values custom default values actually if someone is not passing the id then my code should go and generate the random data in that case what i should do here i will copy this one and i will paste it here so what it will do if means what is my requirement if someone is not passing the id then execute this code and pass that value as default value and every time it will use some new values right i am not hard coding any values here but i am passing some code which will go and generate the integer number and same goes for every other field here but if you see here this is grayed out right if you mouse over on this code it, it will show that variable id initializer something is redundant why because if you see the add data annotation inside this we have four annotations right we have getter setter required ask constructor and two string and uh, sorry total five we have right so we, the main thing we have required ask constructor means you need to pass all the argument to create an instance of this class so it is possible that you can create an object of a class without passing any argument also means maybe that we call no argument constructor or you can say default constructor we don't pass any argument okay but since we are using add data annotation which is adding a constructor with all args that's why it is showing here that this initialization of the default value will never be used this is redundant so for that what you need to do we need to add call no arg constructor okay this will this will explicitly add a constructor with no argument since we are mentioning the no argument constructor explicitly here using this annotation so in that case all argument constructor will not be there so for that again i need to explicitly add all our constructor why i need to add it here if i remove this constructor annotation from here you can see that add builder annotation is through an error and it is saying that lombok add builder needs a proper constructor for this class that means it requires a constructor with all the argument because i am using the add builder annotation at class level here you can go and create at the constructor level also but here i am going to use the builder annotation at the class level so for this you need to add another constructor called all args constructor you can see now there is no error and also whatever pre line was grayed out earlier now it is not that so let me add all those data generator code here for all these fields so that it can be used when values are not provided so here you can see that i have added the random data generator code for all these fields now if i go to my airline test.java and instead of calling this method to create the airline payload what i'm going to do i am simply going to create airline payload equal to new airline and let me run this code you can see here simply i created an object of this airline class let's see what the json request body this time will be created you can see you can see here test case is passed and if i go to my report then i should able to see my request payload okay we can see it is generating the body it is generating the request payload for my create airline api with the default values but there is one problem also what will happen if i am going to use the builder way to create the request payload so for example what i am going to do i am going to use airline dot builder and what i am going to do i am going to just pass the name i am not passing any other field and let me use the build method and uh, this will return me a airline object so let me store into payload difference variable 
and let me pass it. Let me run this program and let me show you the output. You can see that test case is failed and if I go and open my report, you can see here for name, we have the value whatever I pass using the builder pattern, right? But for all other values, it is null and zero. For ID, it is zero because ID is an integer field. Now, what happened to default values, whatever we have passed in my POJO class? The problem with this approach here where we have the default values, it will not be considered if we use the builder method to create the payload. If you want that default values should be considered while using the builder pattern, then we need to add or we need to enable one attribute called to builder equal to true. And now instead of calling the airline dot builder method like this way, you need to use the new keyword new airline and you need to use to builder method. So just the little code you need to change instead of airline dot builder, you need to use the new airline, which will be like simply you are creating an instance of the airline class and you are calling the to builder method, which we enabled here. Remember until unless you make you set it as true, you cannot access this method here. If I run the program now, it will consider the default value for all other missing fields. Okay, this time you can see test case is passed and if I open the report, you should be able to see the JSON payload with the name, whatever I pass using the builder method and remaining all values have the default values. So this code will be committed and pushed to my GitHub repo. And if you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.